Hello, friends. Today, we'll learn about living and non-living things. Hey, friend. Your toy is a non-living thing. It cannot eat anything. I will explain this to you. Hmm. Everything in the world is a living thing or a non-living thing. Let's learn about living things first. Plants, animals, and humans are living things. Living things require food, air, and water to stay alive. The main characteristics of living things are DNA and cells. Living things are made up of cells. A cell is the basic building block of all the organisms. It is the smallest unit of organization and contain the organism's DNA. Metabolic action. It is the processes that enables organisms transform the chemical energy stored in molecules into energy that can be used for cellular processes. Living creatures move. Animals and humans can move. Plants cannot move around like animals and people, but they still show some movements. Reproduction. Reproduction is the process by which new organisms are generated. In this process, the cells of a living organism divide and produce more cells. Homeostasis. It means the ability of the body to maintain a stable internal environment despite changes in the external conditions. For example, the human body keeps an average temperature of 98.6 degrees. Growth. A human child grows into an adult. In the same way, a young animal grows into an adult animal, and a young plant will grow into an adult plant. Ability to adapt. This means that the way they behave, the way they look, or their way of life makes them suited to reproduce and survive in their own habitats. Respiration. Both animal and plant cells use the process of respiration to release energy from glucose, though the process may differ between them. Ability to interact. All living things interact with another. For example, flowers interact with bees by releasing pollen for it. Now, the non-living things. Non-living things are things that are not alive. Some examples of them are book, fan, toy, calendar, pen stand, wooden box, vase, and table lamp. Characteristics of non-living things are they do not move by themselves. They do not grow through internal metabolic functions, but by adding on from the outside. They do not reproduce. They do not require water and food. Now, you know a lot about living and non-living things.